morning at Something Vapes. This is kind of a vlog uh, review of cotton bacon. Because <clears throat> we know I'll ramble before it's over with. But anyway, um, I've been trying cotton bacon now for several days. And uh, I think I'm ready to review it. I gave a first impression the other day on my video. And I wasn't sure about it at that point. Well, now I've done it enough. I think I'm, I think I can review now. Okay, I am running it on two different setups. I'm running on a make mod. I'm running on a box mod. Regulated. Uh, both builds are at 0.3. Thereabouts. 0 0.28, 0 0.3. Um, have them both with cotton bacon. Have tried several juices. Right now I'm running the same. Well, different juices from the same company on each one. This is the Mech Mods performance. You do get flavor. And I have dry hit on this. And it's not as harsh as like with Japanese cotton or regular cotton balls and things like that. Uh, it's very smooth, very flavorful, and once you get used to it, it's easy to wick. Getting used to wicking is the worst part. Okay, on the regulated running at 15 watts. Clouds and flavor on both. Um, can tell exactly which is which and what I'm vaping, but sometimes I'll have several mods set up with the same vendor, different flavors, and I'll be confused as to which flavor I just hit. No confusion with the cotton bacon. It comes in a little package like this. I got this free of charge from Cool Vapes in Flowood, Mississippi. And it says it's by Wick and Vape, and their <clears throat> website will be in the crock pot below. It says cotton bacon. It's not just cotton or bacon. It's the first cotton engineered by vapors for vapors. Cleanest tasting cotton for advanced flavor. Simply pinch, tear, wick, and vape. And that's pretty much it. Of course, you have to twist it to get it in your coils. But we all know that. Uh, there's supposed to be 10 pieces in here. I've probably been working on the same piece. I've used it. Four or five times, changed out a couple of times, and I'm still working on the same piece. So it goes a long way. I'm not sure what the actual price is on this at Cool Vapes, but you can actually get your money's worth out of it because it does go a long way. It's like Japanese cotton; it doesn't take but a little bit. Oops, sorry, battery ball. See, that's close to dry. But I don't get that harsh bleh taste. No, it's still wet. It also holds the juice really, really good. Soaks it up really, really good. You know, when you first wick something and you juice it up the first couple of times, it dries out real quick. This holds on to the juice. I would highly recommend buying some of this. And at least trying it to see what you think. Because I think it's probably worth what the charge is for it. I know Japanese cotton, you can get it fairly cheap. Uh, in places, the other places it's not. It's just like everything else. You have to look for the best price. But Cotton Bacon by Wick and Vape. I would give it a 9.75. As far as cotton I've used. For flavor. For vape. For a dry hit. By a whole nine yards. Really, really impressive. To be. It's just like little straightened out cotton balls. But you just pinch it off and get you a little bit. It doesn't take much to wick your coils. 
even if you've got a big fat coil in there, it still doesn't take a whole lot because it soaks up the juice so well that it really helps with flavor and stuff. That's kind of my ugly build and wick on there. That's the dark horse. The other one is the little boy. This is running at 0.28. Triple twisted 28 gauge. This is uh, 0.28. Built by somebody else. I'm not sure what. Oh no, it's 0.3. I'm not sure what wire gauge it is. But I really taste the flavors. I can tell one's the strawberry, one's the blueberry. No problems. And I usually have an issue with trying to figure out, okay, which one is which. Not so with the cotton bacon. Definitely something I'm going to save and do my juice reviews with because I feel like it gives me more of the flavor than Japanese cotton or regular cotton balls. So, that's my review on cotton bacon by Wick and Bapes. Information in the crock pot below. <clears throat> now for a little ramble. Most of y'all know in about a month I'm facing a knee replacement. The plan is now to go in on a Friday, get it done. By Monday, I should be rolling up in a rehab facility for two weeks. So I'm going to be MIA from YouTube, Vapors TV, maybe Facebook, uh, at least computer-wise, for at least until somewhere around the 1st of September. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have enough, if my phone's going to work with Facebook. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm sure they do not have Wi-Fi there. And for two weeks, I'm not going to worry about trying to put Wi-Fi in just for me. It's going to be bad enough, I'm probably not going to have a TV. But it's about working and rehabbing this knee and getting it to where I can walk again. So... That's not a big issue. I will miss you guys. And I'll miss hanging out with NC on Vapor TV every Saturday. He may try to cast on his own. I'm not sure if he's going to try with the little go live now button that Vapor TV has. If he does, y'all support him and show up. Um, otherwise, I'm just... Waiting to get this over with. The weather has changed. We had rain and it got cold. It's going to rain again this week. Uh, the knee's really, really been kicking up big time. Uh, limping does not even cover how I'm walking. You know, it's like any weight on it whatsoever hurts. So it's kind of like I'm walking level headed or something. But. I'm looking forward to the fact that there's going to be an end to the pain. You know, right now there is none. After the knee replacement within a year, I should be back to normal. Within six months, my pain should be minimum that I can deal with. Um, talk to the joint replacement center at the hospital I'm going to be at, and they said the doctor's order. Talk to the surgeon's nurse who said it's probably not going to be a problem. Talk to him. So, before he ever operates, it's going to be like riding order so I can vape. I do not want a nicotine patch. I'm scared you're going to overdose me. Give me a headache and make me lightheaded. Lightheaded is the last thing the needs after this because I have to get up and walk. Or I'm going to have the continuous motion passive machine where they put you on a machine and constantly bend your leg and straighten it out. Don't know if he uses it. I've done a lot of research on what they do for joint replacement, but I don't know exactly if he's going to use this or not. I know physical therapy is going to be my friend for quite a few months. So I will be busy with that. Um, today, probably sometime, my niece who used to work in a nursing home as a nurse and I are going to go scope out with Sierra Gardens, which is where I'm
planning at this moment to do my rehab and see, you know, what it's like there, what they offer, how things are, kind of get a feel for the place. Uh, it was recommended by my physical therapist who's going to do the read and rehab also. And it's close to Walmart, so since my whole family goes to Walmart, you know, it should not be a problem with somebody rolling over at your seat again once in a while. That's going to be my biggest issue is not seeing my family. And if I meet my goals earlier than two weeks, then I might can get to come home earlier. Getting in here is going to be a little tricky at first because it's, I've just got a walkway, because you know my husband's back wrap. I've got a walkway from the, my computer to the door. So I'll have to walk sideways to get here, probably. Especially, you know, I'm not going to use a walker. If I help it up in here, I'll probably just use my cane to balance to get to the chair. But I will be back in this chair, ready to rock and roll as soon as I can. I know my laptop, I'll have internet at the hospital, but I don't know who that two to three days out of surgery, I'm going to be wanting y'all to see me cry and struggle. I am not looking forward to pain because I don't like pain. I tend to pass out from pain. But, you know, my attitude is this is going to be temporary. Temporary I can deal with. Uh, but, you know, I've had a lot of well wishes on it. Thank y'all very much. I appreciate all the well wishes, all the prayers, uh, good vibes. Send them on. We can always use them. Um, but I've got one more review that I'll do in a couple of days on some juices that I've been sitting on for almost a month now. And they're still <clears throat> not what they're supposed to be. So, I'll probably make a vendor very unhappy when I review these because I have let them steep, let them steep, shook them up, let them steep, shook them up. Still, when I smell them, as of a couple days ago, I still got all the chemical smell. Very little of the actual flavor smell that you're supposed to be getting. So, I'm letting them breathe some more. And in two days, it will be a month since I got them, which means it's about a month since they made them so they should be what they're going to be by then so look for that review i won't mention the name until i see how bad it's gonna be but today was cotton bacon highly recommend it at least try it you know because everybody has their own taste and all that good stuff, so you're going to probably feel differently about it in places than I did. I started out, it was not impressive, so if you're not impressed the first time, keep trying it for a little while. Give it some time. It's just like juices, you know, you have to keep giving them some time. Give the bacon, cotton bacon some time. It'll grow on you, and that's not a bad thing. It is actually, you know, like I said, you can just tear just a little bit off to wick. Parallel coils, not a problem. It doesn't take much. So, it's not like you're going to have to use the whole bag before you realize whether or not you actually like it. You know, I have not used the whole bag. I've had it a week. And I do re-wick pretty often. Because I'm funny like that, you know, if it starts looking burnt or if it starts changing color or if I'm changing juices that are not even close to the same family or same vendor, um, I will change it. I've got a cappuccino vape over here that I've been using that I've had to change out a couple of times because to me, you just don't make the coffee with anything else because it's nasty. The coffee's good to start with, but then you start throwing custard and stuff on top of it. It's like, ugh, what the hell? Yeah, 
Yeah, cotton bacon, definitely a 9.75 in my book. For flavor and for vapor. Y'all come back and see me now, you hear? Thank you.